Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Hope you guys are all well wherever you are in the world Tangahere So we're going on a bit of a mission a Mahikai mission I'm going to a couple of spots that I go past quite a bit I've always been meaning to come back to I'm on the hunt for some pickle pickle it's the new shoots on the ferns bit of a delicacy here in Aotearoa New Zealand so I haven't been here before haven't been here before to look so it's the first time excuse me while I'm looking around but on this track but it's also a very big pond type thing here what I've done is I bought my trap and some chicken we're going to throw it into this pond and see what's there might be some freshwater coda maybe and there might be some tuna for the eels now this little, this little pond here there's no actual stream that comes from the ocean to it so I'm not sure what we're going to find in here or if there's some things that have been in here forever and no one's actually been and had a look in this pond for any kai yet so I could be the first one here looking this checking this pond out join me today we're going to find out what is in that pond I'm going to put the trap down hopefully we might get something I'm hoping for some big freshwater coda or even a tuna so stick around if you enjoy these sort of videos come with me and I'll take on a bit of an adventure something completely new for this channel Nice big piece of puha going there. We might even pick that because it's quite. You look at that. Hear that? It's really sweet. Could be find a few more of those. Your puha. Oh, right, so I'm still waiting to get to the pond. I'm too busy having a look at all the creeks around here. But we're nearly there, but another maybe five minutes away. Another piece of puha, so we'll grab that one as well. Might even be lucky and have a boil up. Good enough. So we actually went past the puha. We actually went past the puha that I picked that prickly stuff on the way here. But unfortunately, as it's spring, that's all going to flower. So when one goes to flower, we pick something else. So here is that creek. Look at that, I'll show you this guys. The water runs out of the pond. It runs through there. So you might even have something hiding in here. So I might throw the string in there as well. Put a bit of chicken on there, tied to it. Let me see what's in there. I'm getting excited. Right, so here is that pond I was telling you about. This is the place I've been going past so many times when walking. And I always thought, I'm going to come here one day, going to come here one day, stop, have a check, put a pot in. And I'm doing it today. I've been thinking about it for the last week or so. And here is the pond here. Have a look at this, guys. I'll show you this. That's the pond. And I bet you no one's caught anything in here. I bet you no one's been exploring this pond before. Look at it, it's full of goodness in there. Rotten leaves. Bits of wood. You know, that's awesome food for freshwater coda. And then of course 
the eels eat the coda if they're in here, but man, look at that. So this is this trap, I found this trap here on the beach, got washed up quite a while ago, look at that, pretty handy, See. so I cut a bit of chicken up, I'll put it in here, and we'll see what's in there, I'm pretty excited. See what's in there. Hey. Thank you, cousin Wim, for your old chicken. Sausages are gone, but let's look at the old chicken. Right there it is already. Let's go and throw it in somewhere. There's a little morsels in here. It's quite a good little spot. No harm in trying, is there? Could be up there, give it a go. That's what it's all about. Probably a good spot around here. I've got a good feeling. Good koi. Doesn't get any fresher than it, does it? Organic as bush koi. Right. Yeah, boy. With that wind. We'll make our way down there.
one coming up there. So we're back here at the little pond and first thing I'm going to do is check I'll check our little string far out man it's crazy I see how we get on I don't think we're doing pretty well but I guess I came down had a look anyway let's have a look at my string oh, there's an eel in there look Ah, oh, there is an eel in the. You guys can't see him, but there's a nice little eel. And I think he's bitten all my bait off. Isn't that interesting? There he is. Good little eel down there. Get my GoPro out, I think. Let's just check our string. Our bait's gone. Oh, here's two. Look, eaten. Yeah, see him. It's gone to the rock there. Where I thought there would be something interesting. Eh? Nothing. Uh, chicken's still there. Let's have a few there. But this is very interesting. It's been for a couple of hours and the chicken looks alright. But there'll be eels in there for sure. We saw that one over here in that little creek. This feed into that creek there. Or stream, whatever you call it. It's pretty small. It's been there for 10 minutes and I've had enough. Oh well. Now will I come back here again and uh, give another go? Mm, probably not. I'll come back here for some pickle pickle maybe but I'm not sure if I'll put another pot in there. If I do it has to be overnight. Oh. I'll take that. That poo hard like that, man, is as sweet as watercress. And one more piece up there, I'll take two. The watercress there flowering. Not sure how clean that little stream is, though. It's pretty clean, but it's a little watercress anyway. I don't pick anything from here. Say hello to everyone. Say hello. Say hello everyone. Hey, where are we? Yes. We're around Thornton. Thornton. Hey, where's Thornton? Hey, hey, where's Thornton? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, hello everyone. Just standing out Thornton. I'm going to do also, I'm going to have a look at all the seaweed, see if I can find any treasure. <laughs> yeah, oh, treasure. I haven't got any treasure for a while. I haven't been down here for a while. Busy fishing. It's a cold day today. It's snow in the South Island. That's why it's cold up here. I actually had frost on my car this morning. Yeah, it's nearly blooming November. Right, let's have a look. I think the sun's going. Oh, look what I found. Yeah, look at that. Nice big green dip mussel. Right to eat. Good to eat too, but I don't want it. Mm, smells alright. Give the old smell test. That'll do it. 
is a half empty one. Oh, no, look at that one. There's another one there. Oh, there's another one there, look. Hmm. Interesting. Might be alright. I'm sort of tempted. Very tempted to take those home. There's nothing wrong with them, really. I've eaten them before off the beach. It's been alright. You know what? <laughs> Might take those home. Don't want the seagulls to get them, do we? Rubber, we take these mussels home, bro. Rubber, take these home. <laughs> hey? Yeah, bro. So we've got something to lay down here. A couple of mussels. Then go with our feast tonight. Far up, windy is today. Right. Yeah, man, it's windy. The wind's just popped up in the last 10 minutes. Far out. So what I've got here, I've got a, a homemade spinner or lure. This is from the Bro and Mutapada. Oh, gets me last Christmas. I've got your name with the white fan. Here bro, it's a spinner. I'm still using it. Just got to give it up a bit of a touch up on the old paint. It's hammered a few kahawai. So kia ora bro. Uh, Hope to see you down here over summer, eh? We'll try it out again. First cast, always film that. Maybe second cast and then I'll just turn it on when I have a good feeling. Or I'll hook up. That cast 4,000 miles away. You never know. Could be a kahawai or two looking around out here. Wouldn't surprise me. But not on my first cast anyway. That wind has just popped up. I was wondering why there's no boats down this morning down the boat ramp. Half past six when I went down there. Look at that weather. Gonna pack it in soon. <coughs> it's blowing a gale. You guys about to hear on the microphone. I'm gonna give me some more muscles. Can you hear me? Let's see if we can find some more muscles. Man, it's cold. Rubber, it's freezing cold. Yeah, another one. Beauty. It's four. Look at that weather, man. It's just like like a couple more, I'll be happy as. What's down here? What's that one doing? Oh, oh another one. Look at that Stu Driver. Look at that paho there. Yep. Five. Catch no fish, but I'm going with some mussels. I've got a great idea. Thanks to somebody on YouTube. Right, do a couple more. It'll be awesome. Shell with a paho there. Half a shell. Mesha. There's a little one here. I oh, don't know. It's a 
it'll do another one any more <coughs> that is pretty cool come here for to get a kahawai and go home with some kutai yeah that should be enough yesterday I went out and managed to get a few a pickle pickle and today we're going to be doing something different again for this channel going to attempt to make pickle pickle toroi which is actually the pickle pickle shoots which we have here well it's not much of a shoot is it so here we have a lovely example of a pickle pickle shoot apparently it comes from the hen and chicken fern not sure what the modern name for it is but these are basically the the young shoots I was very lucky to get some kutai mussels today down at Thornton washed up on the beach after really heavy storms we've been having heavy winds and I came across six kutai and the good sized ones here and we're going to be shelling those we're going to add this to our pickle pickle which we are going to boil in some hot water for a few minutes and then add the kutai we're going to cut the kutai up I've only got six of them some pretty average sized ones but have got a couple of little monsters you know, those quite nice little kutai and they should be fat this time of the year pickle pickle we're going to put them in a bit of hot water boil them up combine it hopefully better make some proper turoi just a bit of taste so stick around and enjoy this cook up segment for my gathering trip free food from the beach and from the bush doesn't get any better than that stick around and enjoy the video should make up enough for a taste test for our turoi perfect A little bit of puha that I found. We can add that also into the pickle pickle. There is our jar of toroi. He had enough to make one jar, or nearly one jar, if you squash it in. Puha and pickle pickle toroi. Looks alright. Does it look alright? Look at that. Stop here for you, what the muscles are. Tastes way better, cool down, it actually tastes way better if you leave it for a few days, if you can last that long. A few days or a week, a couple of weeks, and that will taste really nice. Get all those juices infused into the pickle pickle. Man, that is some special kai right there. Body. So I'm going to cut it down that way. Look at that. A little bit of 
pretty fish there. Here's your tail. What you do is you throw the tail away and you eat the body. I prefer eating that to eating the tail. Mmm, yeah, that's nice. Okay. Just get the old crayfish cut down this way here. Right down the middle. Ready for this. Let's open that crayfish up. Just ready. Look at that. Yeah. Now that, that's what it's all about. The only thing you chuck out is probably this. But I can, you can actually suck it out with the goodness out of there. And that is our... Mm, get this goodness right there. The old paru. Let's try some of this goodness in the body. Mmm. Mm. Yum. Eat that as well. Who else eats that? Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Bit of paru in the orange stuff. Mmm. I'm telling you lies, that is really nice. I can't stop eating it. It's so nice. Mmm, tin or that cup. Put a puppy. Mmm. Been a crayfish for ages. And that is really tasty. Toroi, open it up. Asparagus, a little bit. So we're only going to have a bit of a taste test, so I won't take too much out. There we go. And that should be enough. Right. When ready for this? Unusual pickle pickle. A taste of puha in there. This is really nice. That pickle pickle is very tasty. It's a bit of a slight. I could be wrong, but asparagus sort of flavour. Mm. Quite enjoying that. That is really nice. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you like this video. I appreciate the love, and we'll see you all on the next video. You'll take it easy. Bye. You guys ready for this? I'll show you. Oh, let's have a look.